Okay everyone, how's it going? I'm the ambitious artist. Now that we got some sage burning here and it's smelling great in the studio, I can get started with some artwork today. So roll the intro, go. I felt like that would be great to do some Animal Crossing Village characters, but in my style. Now, if any of you are new to my channel and you don't know my style, I would have to say it's a little bit more on the alternative, punky kind of style. I love doing characters with tattoos and piercings as well. So, my style definitely ranges all over the place. I felt like, why not try doing some Animal Crossing characters but with an alternative look to it. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. don't know if this is funny or not, but I kind of think it's funny. So all I have to do is add this. So if I just added this like so, <laughs> I don't know how much this is going to mess it up, but there we go. Now it could be part of 2020. Perfect. A <laughs> mask. Yeah, so I don't know if that's actually funny or not, but now it has a little mess. I'm gonna erase it. Now, this is what I have. <laughs> Does it look uh, like my kid drew it or what? I don't know. It's. It's okay, it's a lot different. So what I'm gonna be adding now is I'm going to be making her kind of like a hippie girl. So essentially I'm gonna be making, I guess this hair, dreads. So I'm gonna put some dread beads in there. I'm going to kind of change this little thing that's holding up her hair. I'm gonna make it into like some flowers and then she'll be wearing a sundress. So I think that's gonna really tie this character together and make it look like this Animal Crossing character but with a little twist on it. I am 
pretty happy with this actually. Before I start painting it, I'm going to quickly line it and then I will paint it with some acrylic paint. I'm super happy with all the dreads that I did. I really wanted to really elaborate on the dreads and put those beads in there. I used some flower references from Animal Crossing. So I think that they look pretty good. Yeah, I think that they look pretty good. So let me just do the line work here and I'll speed that up really fast and then we'll get carried on to the painting process. All right, let's go. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room, also that you can get to be the big spoon. <laughs> Okay, everyone, it is now the next day and I'm going to be finally painting this. So I'm super excited. I feel like it looks pretty awesome. I mean, this is just a rough outline. It's not perfect in my opinion there. And it's really hard because I'm so used to working on canvas or like mannequins. If you don't know, I also do cool mannequin kind of abstract painting stuff. I'm going to be doing a few more of those and it has a nice cool little bottom here. So let's carry on with painting this. All right, let's go.
There's a lot of colors. Okay. I don't know where so to go. that was a lot of fun. Took some time to actually do all those little details and whatnot. So it is time to add some black and do all the line work. I'm a little bit nervous because this little brush that I'm using, it's kind of getting really frayed and it sucks, basically. So I'm gonna switch up my brush here and then start with the line work. Please leave a comment down below on which character you think I should do next from Animal Crossing. I love doing the village characters, but if you do want me to do... Oh, hi. That's a Stevie. Aw, baby kitty. Say hi. Hi, everyone. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, baby boy. Okay. So let's carry on with this. Go. Okay, well, this turned out absolutely amazing, I think. Definitely pretty awesome. So, oh, wait, guess what I forgot? I forgot to do my signature right here. So if any of you all don't know what my signature is, it's right here. I actually have it tattooed on me. So it is a paw print, but it only has three little dots. Well, three dots on the top there. So you might be asking yourself, well, why do you do all your signatures with a paw print? Well, I like to donate a percentage that I earn from all my artwork that I sell and all the galleries that I've been part of and anything to do with my art, I like to donate a portion to a company called Therapeutic Paws of Canada. Now, obviously this video is not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just a huge believer in this nonprofit organization. So I do leave a link down below to the organization and I will be doing a donation video upcoming here in the next couple weeks. So please look forward to seeing that video and click the notification bell just so you don't miss it there. So let's carry on with doing this paw print. It's actually really simple to do. All I do is take the end of my paintbrush and dip it in my paint. And then once when I have some paint on it, like so, right here, boom. And I just hit it four times. Bam. That looks good. Perfect. Okay, so now that we are done here, please remember, check out all my social media right here because I do try and keep up with the TikTok and I will be posting this on my Instagram and my Snapchat. I like to update people with my Snapchat stuff. And for anyone that has not already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Share if you want to because 
that all helps my channel. It's been growing really well and I really appreciate it. But hey, if you're gonna miss me, remember you can always watch these videos right here and click there. Okay, remember, stay ambitious. Okay, see you all next time. Bye.